Half a day and thorough. Mount Carmel School family. I'm Ruben Guerrero. I'm in the 11th grade and I'm running for student council vice president. Fortunately, I am running unopposed. One important issue facing students at our school right now is mental health struggles from all the stresses that student life accounts for. These may include negative feelings sourcing from school workloads, bullying, conflicts with classmates or teachers, and problems at home. Student Council aims to serve the student body, and that includes making sure that students at MCS feel safe and well every single day that they come to school. That is why I want to continue in the footsteps of our previous student councils by sending out wellness checks that could be filled in anonymously or not, as well as being available to meet with any student in person about anything they wish to share with me. Moving on, another important issue facing students at our school right now is drug abuse. Unfortunately, many students at MCS and even students at other schools are vaping, smoking, and drinking off campus and even on campus sometimes. One idea that I have in order to address this issue is to host anti-drug usage art contests with incentives for winners. Students would get to collaborate for a good cause and all the art pieces would be put up around the school for everyone to see, which would raise a lot of awareness towards the severity of the issue. Furthermore, I have had several prior experiences both inside and out of school that have given me the confidence in my ability to lead. I am currently in the National Honor Society, or NHS, and I've also been in the NGHS and NEHS. As a result of all the school and community events that I've been a part of while being a member of these honor societies, I've experienced what it is like to work with others and lead by example. To add on to that, as an officer in NGHS, my team and I had organized many fundraisers and other events by collaborating with everyone in the society and working with one another. Additionally, one major experience outside of school that continues to equip me with the confidence in my leadership skills is being the captain of our island's U-17 boys soccer team. In order to prepare and play against powerful teams like Australia and China, just as we did last October, that are way beyond our skill levels, I needed to lead my team in various ways, such as being a role model to them on and off the field and motivating others to keep their heads up whenever things aren't quite going our way, as well as to work with one another. Lastly, I know that as a student, we face many challenges in our daily lives in and out of campus. That is why we plan to check up on the wellness of our student body from time to time. Also, I understand that me and my student council team will go through some struggles both together and individually. However, setbacks are meant to be overcome. Therefore, I plan on doing so by not only checking up on the wellness of our student body, but also the wellness of my fellow student council members through online forms or surveys, as well as wellness checks in person at Stuco meetings. Additionally, I would like to encourage my team to consider talking to our Stuco advisors and other faculty and staff of Mount Carmel School if they need to open up to them about anything they may be having a hard time with. It is difficult to improve the well-being of our fellow students if we as Duco members are not feeling well ourselves. And before this video comes to an end, I would like to tell you all that I am truly looking forward to being your next Duco Vice President, and I hope to serve you all well. I am aware that me and my team are not perfect people, so we ask you to bear with us as we promise to always try our best to be your voice and leader no matter what situation we may be in. Sisu Smaasi and God bless.